Okay guys, continuing on the Batman anthology, The Dark Knight. Uh, this is the seventh Batman film in the Epic Film Challenge so far, and not the last. Uh, the second in the Christopher Nolan series. Uh, don't want to really dwell too much on this because this film has been talked about so much. Uh, I remember when it first came out, it instantly went to the number one greatest film of all time on imdb.com. It was being raved about so much because of this guy right here. And you know, Heath Ledger just does an amazing amazing job. Um, but everyone does. Christian Bale, Michael Caine, Heath Ledger, Gary Oldman, Aaron Eckhart, Morgan Freeman. Just the cast is brilliant. Uh, the writing's brilliant. The special effects are brilliant. The music's brilliant. Batman's brilliant. The Joker is amazing. Can't really fault this film. <laughs> and it looked amazing on Blu-ray as well. Um, yeah, Heath Ledger uh, won the Oscar for this role, in fact, which is probably a first, someone winning an Oscar for a role in a Batman film. <laughs> I mean, you wouldn't see Arnold Schwarzenegger get, you know, nominated for <laughs> Best Supporting Actor, or Best best uh, Comedy uh, uh, Part. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, do you want to have some thoughts? I mean, I, uh, far well, superior to Batman Begins, obviously. Because Batman Begins kind of sets it up, and this is just like the first, you know, you really get your teeth sunk into a, a proper villain, you know. You know that I can. No, 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 you know. That I think that Heath Ledger just stole the whole movie. Mm hmm. I heard that he locked himself up for three months or something. Just I don't to get think, it. I doubt that's true. Maybe to some, not three months. <laughs> Well, maybe it was three weeks. It was some, it was a long time, yeah. just to get into the character, and he does it so well. Yes, yeah, amazing. The laughter and everything, and just where he can go from the jokingly, you know, look, and then mm -hmm. he goes like, and it almost looks like he gets a tickle, you know. Yeah. It's just crazy, yeah. you know. And I like his magic trick. <laughs> yeah. I can make this pen disappear. Yeah. Ta-da! <laughs> uh, and he's so funny as well as, yeah, just the best part, really. Yeah. Which makes you almost wanting him to win. And what really bugs me is that he's dead. That he is Ledger is dead, but the Joker didn't die. Mm. So Joker is probably going to come back. Not Somebody in, else is going to play him. Not in the Christopher Nolan series, I don't think. In fact, I know. I don't think Joker should come back ever. They should just say, no, nah, he killed himself in prison. <laughs> Unless the Joker dies with Heath Ledger. Oh, battery's on. Nothing. Um, okay. Anyways, uh, one of my absolute favourite Batman movies because of Heath Ledger. Mm -hmm. I really enjoyed watching it even more now after seeing all the other ones. Uh, I'm going to watch it again and again and again and again. And I'm always going to be so impressed with Heath Ledger's performance. Of course, the other ones are really, really good as well. Mm -hmm. But he still has to show. I love the story, I love <coughs> the acting, I love the darkness of the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Watching it makes me want to play the game because it's so close to the game. Yeah. Uh, it's almost like the games have been inspired by The Dark Knight rather than oh, the definitely. other movies. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because a lot of his... Equipment, his gadgets, and everything like that, and the visual mode, the, mm -hmm. you know, um, everything like that is in the games, and it makes it even so even more fun to watch after playing the games. I uh, give it a what did you give it? I don't read it yet. Oh, 9.8. Okay. I want to give it a 10. I don't know why. Okay. Maybe I will give it a 10. Mm -hmm. I think I know I'll give it a nap. Okay, well, yeah, the battery's on nothing, so hopefully this will save. But yeah, the script is amazing. I love the story in this. I uh, just love everything about it. Definite 10 for me. Done a lot of films at a 10 recently, but. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I just love this. It is the best Batman film ever. Um, but I still prefer, in a way, the, the 1989 Batman with Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton will always be Batman to me. In a way, Jack Nixon will always be the Joker to me, but. Heath Ledger's the best Joker, just one of the best characters in film history. He just did an amazing job. 
I think I think people say that oh it's overhyped because he died and everyone's like oh well no if he didn't yeah. die they would say the same thing yeah I think it's uh, yeah it's just amazing ten out of ten so yeah thanks for watching.